When the dam was built, the huge concrete crescent trapped the water flowing down the Colorado River to create Lake Mead. It's the biggest artificial lake in the USA. Many dams have water cascading over the wall, but here the water from Lake Mead drops down four intake towers. The pressure of the falling water turns the turbines that drive the generators to make electricity. Water flows down the pipes hidden in the canyon walls. It enters the building that houses the turbines and generators. The flowing water spins the turbine blades. The turbine is connected by a shaft to the generator above it. Turbines turn the generators to make electricity. The water that has been churned through the turbines from Lake Mead is finally returned to the Colorado River. You have to descend 160 meters deep down into the Hoover Dam wall to reach the generators. We're overlooking the wing of the Nevada power plant. Now from here you can see there are eight generators. On the Arizona side there are nine. The turbines are located directly below the generators, two stories below us. But how do the generators make electricity? A voltage is generated or induced in a coil of wire when a magnet passes through it. If a magnet rotates near a coil of wire, an electric current is produced in the wire. The rotation of the magnet produces alternating current. That means that the current is continuously changing direction. We're on top of a 600 ton magnet that goes all the way around the generator and it's attached to the shaft. Above and below the magnet are coils. And as the magnet moves around the coils, it produces electricity in the coils. The Hoover Dam generators produce alternating current. That's because they have a rotating magnet which changes the direction of the current. 